Good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference for Novak Djokovic. As always, please raise your hand, state your name and organisation when asking your question. And uh, Novak, we'll just start. Give us your thoughts on your performance today. Yeah, again, a very good start uh, as in my previous match. <clears throat> um, I know Kitzmanovic's game pretty well. We train a lot. We never uh, faced each other on grass. Obviously, he's, it's not his preferred surface uh, for his game and um, I had the right game plan I knew what I needed to do so I, uh, you know obviously it helps a lot if you start off the match very well and uh, the way I played first set was great uh, maintained that level pretty much throughout the entire match so um, just overall very pleased I know uh, congratulations for the victory I would like to ask you about the COVID situation. Uh, Nadal, for example, is uh, looking after everything more. He said he's staying at home, not going out too much. Um, what are you doing? Your entourage is wearing mask, or what, how is how are you dealing with the situation right now to avoid a positive? Or mm, I'm well. I'm I'm you know mostly at the tennis facility and at, and at home with my family, so I don't also go out much um, although I did you know visit the city a few times uh, before the tournament started but I'm, I'm not so to say over concerned about anything you know I'm just trying to you know stay stay healthy stay focused and play the tournament so I'm not not thinking about whether I'm gonna catch COVID or something I'm you know, right now I'm not thinking about it but of course being cautious is 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 something that is a necessity, I think, for for everyone, I mean, particularly because we have been through what we've been through in the last two years. <clears throat> Hi, Adam Mulder from Eurosport. Um, I'd like to get your thoughts on the interesting decision by the ATP to allow some off-court coaching in some matches coming up in the second half of the season. Uh, well, I'm kind of. Uh, Divided there, in my opinion, because um, I understand the arguments from both sides. You know, there are obviously people that that feel like that um, the uniqueness of our sport is that um, an individual athlete needs to find solutions on the court by himself without getting coached during a match, which I absolutely understand and that that's the way it has been for many years. But at the same time, you know, we all know that most of the times, most of the matches, coaching happens. So um, to kind of officialize the coaching is uh, something I also understand. Probably lean more towards that because um, anyway, it's happening. So why not just make it a, a rule or officialize the the possibility? Of course, with certain conditions under certain conditions that you have to coach your player only if he's at your on your side of the court so you don't pose the hindrance to to other player i don't know how that's going to work uh, obviously we we have seen with uh, women's tennis um in previous years on court coaching um that that's a bit different than than what we are going to do now um and it was interesting for TV viewers and for all of us to listen to those conversations happening between the coach and the player. So, of course, from, from that perspective, someone watching as a fan, it's quite interesting and entertaining, but at the same time, um, not that great for, for um, discretion or privacy of that conversation, you know, because, uh, of course, um, somebody can hear what you're talking about on the on the TV, and then that somebody can send messages to you know opposing coach and coaching team. So of course that's a bit tricky, um, and I, I I do feel like uh, certain professional information that is exchanged should probably stay private between a coach and and a player, but. Uh, I guess we'll we'll wait and see where that balance is, you know, because it's going to be introduced for the first time in our in our sport and our on the men's side. So let's see let's see how how it goes. It's uh, Tim Fulain from Dutch A &P. What are your thoughts on uh, the run of Tim van Rijt over your next opponent? Yes, I've um, watched him um, play 
uh, here a couple of matches and also um, in Netherlands where he won his his, his ATP tournament. And uh, of course, he's one of the talks of the tournament here and um, generally on the grass court season, he still hasn't lost a match. It's quite impressive. Uh, for somebody that uh, hasn't been ranked that high and uh, hasn't won an ATP match before um, at Tegenbosch tournament, so it's quite uh, quite impressive the way he has won and also against Medvedev in the finals quite comfortably. So um, I know his uh, coach, uh, Sisling Igor. You know his his mom is from Serbia, so I've known him f for a very long time. Uh, we're same same generation. We grew up playing in junior events together. So uh, we had the chat the other day and. You know, I, I I I don't know him that well, but you know, um, I, as I said, I've watched him play last last few weeks, and I'll do my analysis of him, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully I can kind of uh, start off the way I did in the last few matches. Do you, uh, Matt Futterman from the New York Times, is it at all nerve wracking to play someone who you've never played before, who's kind of an unknown entity like that? I remember you had no problem with Karatsev last mm -hmm. year when it was the same, a similar kind mm -hmm. of situation. Um, what sort of challenges does that bring? Well, I, again, it's it's it. There is a challenge when you're fa facing someone for the first time that that someone is, you know. Um, Obviously, has not much to lose, so, and you don't know his game, so you have to kind of adapt, adjust. You have to do your homework, analyze, you know, his matches previously, and trying to gather as much as useful information so you can prepare yourself tactically well for for the match. <clears throat> I'm Associated Press. I'm wondering, can you um, think back to when maybe you would have been in his shoes? Not that you were ever quite in that same position, because much earlier in your career you had success and played deep in the Grand Slam tournaments, but the idea of being a sort of young, new, inexperienced guy going up against somebody who mm. has a lot of accomplishments already, somebody maybe you had watched on TV. I'm just wondering if you can remember ever sort of being in that position as the younger underdog guy, uh, and, and what that felt like for you. Well, we all, all have been in that in that position. Uh, everyone <coughs> has to go through different stages of their career. So of course, there's always the first time of playing in center court of uh, Grand Slam, Wimbledon in this case for him. I mean, if we get to play center court or court one, uh, it depends on the scheduling, but. You know, f for him again facing facing me for the first time, and but you know he hasn't um, felt that much pressure, I guess, in his uh, uh, encounter against Medvedev in the finals, his first finals against you know Medvedev, who's at that point number two in the world. You know, beat him really comfortably, so it, it seems like he's very confident player. You know, he's he, he handles the big stage pretty well. It seems like. Of course, Grand Slam is different. He's played the best of five, and uh, you know his game, from what I've seen, is quite suitable to the surface. You know, he has big serve, he one-handed backhand, uses the slice well. You know, he's all-round player. You know, he can play fast. He can also stay in the rally and come to the net. So, I think. Well, I mean, I'm sure that he's excited to 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 play on a big stage, and he doesn't have much to lose. You know, he's on on his dream run, and he's. Um, a young player that is just starting, so I'm sure that um, his career will be will be very good. Steph, Andy, last English question. Hi, Novak. Andy Dillon from the Sun here. Um, I just want you're, you're playing Sunday, I believe, and it's the first time. <coughs> do excuse me, uh, play on a Sunday. I just want if you have any thoughts on that. Um, forgive me if I'm wrong. In tournaments of old, you'd probably have an extra day's rest until mm -hmm. Monday. At this stage, do you have any thoughts about that? Well, all the other Grand Slams are, are playing in mid-Sunday, so um, I'm glad that Wimbledon has um, introduced that as well. I, I'm in favor of, of that rule change. Um, quite surprising uh, this year with a couple of uh, uh, changes in, in, the, in the tradition that we, we know Wimbledon is, is uh, very close to. Um, one that I, you know, even though <laughs> I had the honor to, to practice on the center court before the Tournament started. I, I'm not really in favor of of that um, rule change, so to say, because I never thought that anybody will have ever an opportunity to practice on on the center court 
before before the defending champion walks out on Monday. But uh, I like the, the middle Sunday play. Would you normally, though, have your... I know you probably wouldn't put your feet up on a Sunday, but, you know, Wimbledon was different to the rest. Now it's the same. There's a lot of people like Wimbledon because of its differences. It's, it's not the same. I mean, we all, we all wear white still, and I don't think that's ever going to change. Maybe. We, we, we don't know. I mean, things are changing, which is good that there's that, that the tournament and the club is, is open to certain changes and, and I, I guess, uh, adjustments. Um, depending on the needs of players or fans or just the time you know uh, that that also you know the society and everything that that is following um but i, I still you know respect and love wimbledon for keeping its um, tradition of um all white and uh, also no advertisement on the center court i think that's that's something that in today's world is is really rare um I mean, after surprising changes this year, you don't know. I mean, anything anything can change in in the future. But uh, we all know for sure that that Wimbledon sticks to its tradition and and very carefully looks at any changes if if they make any. Okay, we're going to switch to the Serbian questions now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.